Hi, this is Tammy from the Sycamore Public Library. Today I'm going to show you how to make beads out of paper. They are fun to make, inexpensive, and you can create your own color palettes. To make our paper beads, the first thing you need is a sheet of 8.5 by 11 decorative paper. You want it to be about the weight of copy paper. It can be a little bit heavier, but not too much lighter. You also need a ruler, some scissors, a pencil, a few toothpicks, at least one of which is round, some white glue, some clear nail polish, and a couple of small containers, one of which should be narrow enough to lay the toothpick across the top. Okay, let's get started. The first thing you need to make paper beads is some pretty paper. It doesn't have to be anything fancy. I'm actually going to use a calendar page lots of different colors. Because it has a hole on the bottom, the first thing I'm going to do is cut off the hole. I'll just use the bottom of the calendar cut right along this line. I'm going to make the base of the bead a half an inch. So the first thing I need to do is shape the end of my page here. If the base of the bead is going to be half an inch, then we need to cut off a quarter of an inch so that our triangle is the right proportion. I'm just going to mark a quarter of an inch here. Turn this around here and taper it up to the point. So put the ruler on my quarter inch mark and at the point of the paper up there and draw a line. There we go. Now we have the right shape for all of our beads. Now the paper is the right shape for our beads. So on each end, you're going to mark half inch increments with your ruler. So every half inch, just make a little mark. The same from the other end. So now we draw our triangles. So you want to start from the wider end. As you can see this end is wider than this one. And we're going to line up our ruler from the ha first half inch mark on the left side to the point. And draw a line. We're going to keep the left side of the ruler on that mark and move the right side to the half inch mark. It shifts, just move it back. So we're creating long triangles. Keep the right point on the mark and move the left side to the half inch mark. Keep the left side there and move the right side to the mark. Depending on how many beads you want, keep on going. I'll mark a couple more here. Now 
Now this is the wrong side of the bead, so it doesn't matter what you've written on the calendar. A couple notes here. So I'm going to stop right there. And so now I just need to cut out my little triangle strips. have more marks on my paper. If I want to draw more and make more beads, I can. Right here I have enough strips for six beads. Once you have all your strips cut, you're going to start rolling. I have my little drying cup here. It's just a little cup that the toothpick fits across. And I have one bead on there that's already done and a little container of glue. I watered my glue down just a little bit because it seemed very thick. Because you don't use much glue, that's maybe not that important. But I just want to let you know that that is a possibility. So to start your bead, you're going to crimp it around your toothpick or your skewer or whatever you're using. I'm using a toothpick because I want the hole to be fairly small. Just crimp it around there and tuck it under there and roll. This is the hardest part, getting it started. And I find that after I get going a little bit, it's easier to see if I turn it over to the right side. I'm going to hold it with my right thumb so it doesn't slip and guide it with my left thumb and just start rolling around the toothpick, keeping the strip centered. Every once in a while I'm going to put a little dab of glue this will just keep it from slipping. Because Sometimes if you lose control of it it'll slip and the whole thing will unroll. The glue will help prevent that Just keep rolling. Again, trying to keep the bead centered. You can shift it a little if you need to. Occasionally adding a dab of glue in there. It will actually get easier as you roll to keep it centered. Take your time. There's no hurry. If it's way off, if you find that you're not centered at all, you can unroll it a little bit. A little more glue here. If any glue happens to leak out, just wipe it away. And when you get near the end, when you have about an inch or so left, you want to coat the whole end with glue very lightly. And then just 
keep rolling, pressing tightly. All the way to the end. So there's our completed bead. I like to use the same toothpick for each bead to keep the whole consistency even. So I'm going to take this bead off of this toothpick and place it on my other one. And set it there to dry. And then I'll keep using this toothpick to roll more beads. After our beads are dry, we're going to seal them with fingernail polish. Now you need to have them secure so they're not rolling around like they do on this toothpick that we used to roll them. I was lucky enough to have another shaped toothpick, a square one, that the bead fits on snugly. It's not, it's not loose, it's not very tight, but it works perfectly. I think it'll work perfectly for the fingernail polish. Um, if, if you don't have anything a little bigger than the toothpick you used to roll it, wrap a little bit of tape, just a little bit of tape around the original toothpick. And you should be able to slide it on fairly snugly. So here's my bead. Unscrew my fingernail polish. And just lightly coat the bead with the polish, trying not to get it on the toothpick too much. And then once you have it all coated, put it back down in your little drying container. I'll do this other bead too. And you can see that these two beads even though they came from the same page, are a little bit different color. But they're both still kind of greens and pinks and purples. We get lots of different colored beads from different colored pages. So there you go, there's the bead. So now all you have to do is wait for them to dry. And then you may create whatever you like with them. Necklaces, or bracelets, or pendants. Let your imagination go wild. Here is a simple bracelet I made using my paper beads, an elastic cord, and alternating with some small clear beads. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really enjoyed making it for you. Have fun with your paper beads.